You're watching the English news of Infoq Radio Television and Newspaper. You're with me, Bích Thủy, and here are top news of today. Infoq launches Football Academy. Outstanding collectives, individuals in emulation movement honored. Vietnam suggests way to promote multilateralism at Francophonie Summit. Ninh Bình authorized heritage resources for economic growth. At the Bình Phước Multipurpose Gymnasium, the Bình Phước Trường Tư Football Club held a ceremony to inaugurate the 2024-2025 season and officially debuted the Trường Tư BMG Football Academy. In line with this vision of fostering sustainable football development, the Chiang Tui Bing Phu Club has partnered with Bing Ming Group BMG to establish the academy. Currently, the academy has selected 60 students at 12 to 17 who are being trained in Barrio Vung Tau and Bing Phu. With the launch of the football academy, the Chiang Tui Bing Phu Club aims to cultivate football talent not only for the club but also for the national team. During the ceremony to send off the Chiang Tui Bing Phu Club for the 2024-2025 First Division season, Chairwoman of the Provincial People's Committee Chen Tui Hien highlighted the club's impressive debut season. Despite being newly established, the club secured third place overall, earned the title of Excellent Young Player of the Tournament, and received a style award. The achievements reinforced confidence for the upcoming season. The provincial leader expressed her belief that the club's professional and systematic approach will elevate the province's football scene and enhance Bing Phuc's image through the sport. At the launch ceremony, the club also unveiled its new competition uniforms, announced Kelm Vietnam as its sponsor, and signed a medical care contract with Ho Chi Minh City University of Medicine and Pharmacy Hospital. The People's Committee of Tiong Than Thao, Ninh Bình Phước Province, held a ceremony to announce that Minh Lập Khamin has met advances new rural standard. Beginning its journey towards enhanced rural development in 2022, the party committee, local government and residents of Minh Lập Khamin have demonstrated strong political will and unity in completing all 20 criteria. Notably, the government has upgraded, expanded and maintained 12 roads, resulting in nearly 93 kilometers of concrete roads. Currently, all the roads are concretized. The government also boasts three out of seven residential areas that qualify as modal rural residential areas. The total investment for building enhanced new rural areas in Minh Lập Khamin from 2022 to 2023 is about 156 billion Vietnam dong or over 6.2 million dollars. Looking ahead, Bình Phước Province aims to have five additional comments meeting new rural standards and six more achieved enhanced standards by 2024. As of the end of this year, 85 out of 86 commons have met new rural area standards, representing over 98% of the total number of commons in the province, with 33 commons achieving advanced status. The Bing Phu Industrial Park Trade Union recently held a ceremony to honor collectives and individuals who have excelled in the emulation movement for outstanding workers. This event also celebrated the 15th anniversary of the Bing Phu Provincial Industrial Park Trade Union, established on October 6, 2009. Since its inception, the Bing Phuc Industrial Parks Trade Union has seen continuous growth in both quantity and quality. It currently boasts 110 grassroots trade unions, representing nearly 40,000 members. Each year, the trade union actively collaborates with business owners to ensure the strict implementation of labor policies and laws. They also provide gift packages for workers during holidays, especially the traditional Lunar New Year or TED, and support those facing difficulties, distributing a total value of tens of billions of Vietnam dong annually. 
Currently, the average monthly income for trade union members and workers in enterprises exceeded 6.6 million Vietnam dong, over 266 U.S. dollars. During the ceremony, the organizing committee recognized 17 collectives and 47 individuals for their remarkable contributions to the emulation movement and for strengthening the trade union organizations in 2024. Party General Secretary and State President Tô Lâm attended the 19th Francophonie Summit in Paris on October 5th and delivered a key speech. He affirmed the irreplaceable role of multilateral mechanism, highlighting the contribution of the international organization of La Francophonie to global issues and framework. Lum stressed the need to link multilateralism with major transitions, particularly digital and green transformation, and urged the Francophone community to support technological capacity building and clean energy development to achieve the sustainable development goals. He also called for reforms in multilateral institutions, including the OF, to adapt to global changes and emphasize the need to focus on members' economic cooperation and the summit of the future's priorities. Lum highlighted inclusiveness, people-centeredness, and youth engagement as key to successful multilateralism, urging stronger people-to-people, -people, cultural, and educational exchanges to promote the French language and deepen cooperation among Francophone members. Coming up now, we have report on the activity of Prime Minister Phạm Minh Ching. The Cultural Festival for Peace is underway in Hanoi to mark the city's 70th Liberation Day, October 10, 1954 to 2024, and 25 years since receiving the title City for Peace. The opening ceremony on October 6 drew Prime Minister Pham Minh Chin, high-ranking officials from the party, the Vietnam Fatherland Front Central Committee, ministries, sectors, agencies in Hanoi, as well as more than 10,000 people. The festival also attracted representatives from the United Nations in Vietnam and ambassadors from several countries. Featuring three main topics of Hanoi on the Day of Victory, Hanoi, the flow of heritage, and Hanoi, city for peace, creative city, the festival recreates the historical milestones of the capital through the ages, introducing and performing tangible and intangible cultural heritages, festivals, and typical craft villages of the capital. One of the highlights of the festival is a performance reenacting the liberation troops entering the capital city on October 10, 1954, to take over Hanoi, drawing nearly 1,000 soldiers and 200 artists. The festival is a chance to affirm the noble qualities and values of the time-honored, heroic, peaceful, and friendly Hanoi and the Vietnamese nation as a whole, as well as Vietnamese people's aspirations for peace. Recently, Ninh Bình province has organized various activities to enhance the significance of its heritage in realizing its strategic goals. The aim is to transform Ninh Bình into a millennium heritage urban area, a creative city and the center for tourism and cultural heritage industries at both regional and national levels with a strong international presence. Ninh Binh, a land of exceptional talent and history, established itself as Vietnam's capital in the early days of the Age of Independence. Its location at the crossroads of the Northwest, Red River Delta, and North Central regions has fostered a unique and rich cultural identity. It is also home to numerous tangible and intangible cultural heritage, including hundreds of traditional festivals. The unique cultural values of the ancient capital have been identified as a key asset for Ninh Binh to develop its heritage-based economy, with tourism playing a central role. This sector has positively impacted the local economy, helping residents improve their livelihoods and cultural well-being. By defining a long-term vision, strategy, and clear direction for preserving and utilizing the cultural values of the ancient capital, Ninh Binh is gradually positioning itself as a heritage economy hub for the country. This will turn heritage into a valuable asset, aimed at enhancing the happiness of the people and promoting sustainable development. 
And that's it for this edition of BBTV News. Thanks very much for your watching and see you next time.